In the bustling corridors of Washington, a new tax plan emerges, promising a smoother financial road for trucker owner operators and trucking companies across the nation. Hey truckers, how does a reduction in thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars in your taxes sound? The Tax Relief for American Families and Workers Act of 2024, sailing through the House with a resounding bipartisan cheer, now gears up for a Senate green light. If passed, our trucking companies will be eligible for 100% depreciation on the equipment they purchase. This legislative package is more than just numbers on paper. It's a beacon of support for both the titans and the underdogs of the trucking industry. Ed Gilroy of the American Trucking Associations hails it as a catalyst for greater freight capacity efficiency and innovation. While nurturing the roots of small businesses and securing well-paying jobs, the heart of the act beats with financial incentives. A revved-up depreciation for capital investments and a boost in deductions for interest expenses. It's a continuation of benefits that first hit the road under the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. The numbers speak volumes, with the maximum expense soaring to $1.29 million, and the threshold for qualifying property climbing to $3.22 million. Tax policy expert James Lucher spotlights the boon for those eyeing a shiny new truck or rig, while Barry Fowler, a tax guru for smaller carriers, points out the allure of a 100% bonus depreciation deduction. Yet he cautions the tax terrain varies and a savvy tax preparer can steer you through the fiscal fog. As the bill cruises towards the Senate, its fate hangs in the balance with a 34% chance of enactment, as tracked by GovTrack.us. The road to becoming law is steep, but for truckers, the potential rewards of this tax plan could be a game-changer in the logistics landscape.